pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Rise and shine, Firebirds. I'm Stephanie Acosta. And I'm Dinesha Gonzalez. Today is March 1st, 2024. And thank you for joining us this morning for the 20th episode of the fifth season of our weekly show, The, the Rise. Rise. Coming up on today's show, a look into some visitors our school recently had the pleasure of hosting, one of our very own student and his recent accomplishment, along with your weekly sports report. All this and more coming up on this edition of The, the Rise. Rise. Welcome back to another episode of the Fiber Dance. I'm your host, Jack Herrera, joined by my co-host, Sarah Devia, and I'm so As for the weather this weekend, we can expect moody skies paired with a low of 67 and a high of 83. With these temperatures, make sure to keep a sweater handy and an eye out for the rain. This Monday, our Firebird Rubies Dance Team held their annual showcase, which also served as their senior night. The national champions went out with a bang as they premiered all of their 2024 pieces for the last time. We've recently had the pleasure of hosting a new up-and-coming band as they debut their songs to the teen generation. We got an exclusive look from these uprising artists. Here's more on just that. Hello guys, this is DND. I'm Emiliano from Chile. I'm Javi from Venezuela. What's up, my name is Danny Isaac. I'm from New York. And I am Danny Lacayo. I'm here from Miami. And I'm Emilio and I'm from Puerto Rico. And we're <laughs> DND. We've all been artists for years. We've been um, working on our respectful fields for years, dancing, music, art. Um, basically, we're going to bring a different flavor. Um, reggaeton, Latino music, we have pop music. So I feel like we've never been, there's never been anything like this before. You know, um, everybody has like super electric personality. So um, I feel like it comes to, uh, to a combination where like, you know, we can like really like capitalize on like our differences, you know, like our versatility. So D&D &D is an acronym, and it stands for Do Not Disturb. And a lot of different uh, groups along the ages have had their own name, and we want to have our own really cool thing that we also identify with. And D&D &D is, you know, when, whenever you go to our concert one day, hopefully, you're going to put that phone on Do Not Disturb and just going to have a, a good time. And we just want to implement that, that mentality of just, like, have a good time no matter what, and, uh, yeah, Do Not Disturb. I think we're still figuring out our deep message. I think it's a journey that it never ends. We want to bring to the table that when you have a passion, when you have something that really moves you, you gotta pursue it, you gotta go for it, and there's always gonna be a place for you. We're excited to come here March 8th, share art with you, and hopefully you guys love us. Um, please follow us on DND Musica if you really like what's going on. And yeah, just get ready. We're super excited, and we're so excited for you guys to enjoy this journey with us. So. Thank you guys so much for having us. Good job, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you. So first of all, I just want to congratulate you on all the roles you've had recently with Marvel, um, Regina you. King's movie, and all these, and now Bob Marley. So it's just Thank you. It's inspiring to see. First is how important do you think it is to to play this role and this icon to so many people who look up to him, especially here in Jamaica. You know, it's funny because that work, like the Bob's, Bob's work ethic was something that I learned in a really big way through talking to um, his friends and people who knew him. I, I spent time with people who knew Bob when he was 13 and 14 years old, um, before he was famous. And everyone kept telling me the same thing. It's like, Bob Nassaf, he was tough. He was all of it, you know, he was, he had this incredible work ethic and his, his spirituality and music and football, like those were the places where he felt safe and he, 
he really was such a committed artist. And I feel like what I learned about Bob was that he was, he felt like he was in service to something more than himself. And that was proven by how much he, he, he how hard he worked on what he did. He, like Bob was up before the sun every day, composing and writing songs. He liked his voice first thing in the morning when it was rough and, and just to find inspiration in those quiet moments, you know, to write as many hit songs as he did. There's not many people who can do that. And, and not being a musician myself, I really learned that, you know, I was like, oh, you know, he made The Godfather every other year, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's the equivalent. He kind of, he was, he was knocking them out. And um, so, I mean, it's just meant everything. I mean, the last two years of my life, being with the Marlies and spending time with Bob's friends has, mm -hmm. has changed me in ways I don't even know. With the spring season underway, our winter athletes find themselves in the end of their playoff season. Rhea Gotti has more on what's to come. Here at Dura, we have our own star athletes representing the school with their hard work. Let's shine a closer light on some of their major strides and accomplishments this week. This week, our superstar spring athletes are owning their fields and courts, bringing home several wins for us Firebirds. Starting off strong with our baseball team, who's kicking off their season with a home run, beating South Dade on Monday with an incredible score of 14-1. to On Tuesday, they faced off against Slam, crushing it with a score of 11-1. to On Wednesday, they faced off against Somerset Academy on our home field, dominating with a score of 8-2. to Finally, they're competing against Keygate today at 3.30 p.m. on our home field. Don't forget to come out and show your support. Moving on to our very own girls flag football team, who won their first game with a score of 19-6 against Pinecrest Prep at an away game on Tuesday. They then faced off against Somerset Silver Palms yesterday at 3.30 p.m., winning with an astonishing score of 33-7. Congratulations, girls. Moving on to our Firebird girls tennis team who unfortunately lost on Tuesday versus Rivera Prep with a score of 8-4. Better luck next time, Firebirds. Next, our incredible Dural softball team is thriving as they dominated their away game against Coral Reef on Wednesday with a score of 6-0. Finally, they will face Park Vista today in an away game at 6.30 p.m. Don't forget to show your support to our Lady Firebirds as they climb the path to victory. Last but not least, our boys soccer team faced state semifinals versus West Orange yesterday in the Spec Martin Stadium at 7 p.m. Unfortunately, calling an end to their season, losing with a score of 3-1, to one, the goal scored by Itza Calatrava. We're proud of how far our boys have gotten and wish them the best. As they finish off their season, let's now hear from girls basketball player Isabella Molina. I think we're really excited overall. Um, I, we're pretty confident. We've been working super hard like throughout the season. We've had a lot of competitive matchups and it's all led up to this moment. Like from the beginning, this has been one of our top goals. So like to be where we want to be at this point in the season is all we could ask for and we're super confident. That's it for this week's sports. I'm Rhea Gowdy reporting. Bringing to you not only the latest updates, but spotlighting the incredible activities going on around campus, here are your daily announcements. Our abandoned orchestra team is having their benefit concert on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. in the Dural Auditorium. The new student academic orientation will be March 9, 2024 at 9 a.m. through 11 a.m. for middle school and 9.30 through 11.30 for performing arts new students. Lastly, Dural's Cancer Kids First is having their next toy drive March 17 at Dural Legacy Park. You can find more information at Dural Academy Preparatory. That is all for this week's edition of The Rise. We hope to see you again next week. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms at Firebird TV to stay updated with all the latest daily news. From everyone here at Firebird TV, we wish you a fantastic Friday and an even better weekend.